I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. When a word changes from plural to singular, it's kind of important how to read the scriptures. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our get our app. It's available in all major platforms and donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about putting the gospel in the ears of our church's youth keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. I like on Fridays to take a look at something that may have that that, may, that happened in Bible class sort of zero in on it. Remember, we have a daily Bible class. Right now, it's at 2 p.m. every single central, every single solitary weekday. Join us. Link in the description. Let's take a look. The thing I want to point out to you today is in John chapter 6, verses 28 and 29. Here's, here's what I want you to see. They said to him, what must we do to do the Erga tu theo, the works of God. And Jesus answered and said to them, The work of God is this, that you believe in the one he has sent. Here ends our text. So I, I want you to sort of think about this. Their question is, what do we have to do? to do the work of God. His response changes the word work to singular. The work of God is this. This is very important. The distinction between plural works that we do and singular work that God does is, is something that you don't want to miss. We like to pile up our works. We like to do more and more and more, more great things. Climb the mountain for Jesus. Conquer that sin do this or that, and those are all good things, but they don't save us. What must we do to do the work of God? The answer is that Jesus changes their, quest, their question and switches it from their working the work of God to God working the work of God. The work of God, singular, is this, that you believe in his son, the one that he sent. This occurs also in Galatians 5, uh, where, they, where the fruit of the Spirit is in contrast to the works, plural, of the flesh. The things that we do, the sins that we do, works, plural, lots of stuff. We're doing them. The work that God does, the fruit that comes from faith, is singular. And so I guess the way to think about this is that everything flows from faith. Everything flows from Jesus. But we all want to be better people. I want to be a better person. Sometimes I look at myself and say, like, I'm a pastor and I'm this awful. I need Jesus too. The answer to our longing to be better, the answer to our longing to do good is not that we pull up our bootstraps, submit to God, and start, get out there and go. The answer begins and ends with the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, Jesus. How must we do the work of God? Well, the work of God is this, that you believe. God's working. That you believe is God's working. And that starts the dominoes down the path to, to do the things that you want to do to love your neighbor better. But you don't start loving your neighbor and then get back to faith. Faith is the source, the good, the beginning and end of everything. Jesus. And then everything flows from there. The things that flow, the fruit, singular, that flows, the work that flows, singular, from God, is a fruit of faith, the fruit of Jesus. And on the last day, when you stand before him, you're not going to go, well, um, the... Um, the theological workbooks say that we're justified by grace through faith, but sanctification is our working. No, you're going to point to God and go, 
I was an unworthy servant. Let God point to all the stuff that you did that flowed from faith. You tell him now the work of God that you said was that I believed in him. That's the only one I got, okay? And on the last day, you'll find, well done, good and faithful servant. Because of Jesus, because of his holy life and death on the cross, because of what he did for us. Bible study, every day, five days a week. Check it out in the description. Have a good weekend. I'm Pastor George Borkart. The work of God is that you believe. The work, singular, every word is important. And this has been another Higher Things video short.